it's after Thanksgiving and I had some time so I thought I'd come out and, and uh, cut the, uh, the side panels out of that four millimeter sheet that I had and it went so fast and I used my little uh, Japanese draw saw on that and I'll show you a little bit later what it was. I mean it's just a little guy with a, with a D handle uh, on it. Uh, it was a lot quicker and uh, cleaner and straighter than using my jigsaw. So. I uh, can't say enough about those little Japanese draw saws. So I'm going to, uh, the thing we're going to do now is I got the, the side panels uh, cut out and stacked and clamped in place. And I got to think, well, they don't really need to be clamped in, in place right now. Uh, the critical time is when you're cutting out the two panels so that they're mirror images of each other. But I've got them stacked anyway. So now what I'm going to do is we'll start out with the laying out the grid. And can you see... Yeah, you can see. So basically I've got my, my ruler laid out here and hooked over the end and I'm going, little, going along now at every 12 inches you put a little tick mark. And seven is the last one. Now I could go ahead and use and this, and I probably will, but I want to uh, just be sure. And so I'll do them on both sides. Just takes a second. We're in no hurry here. At least I'm not. <laughs> just another boat to set outside. Okay, so much for that. We'll do this same thing for the grid on the, the bottom panel, which is laying underneath here. So now we'll take our 12 inch, well, 24 inch for after square. See how close we are. Ah, right on. Okay. doesn't have to be exactly, I mean you want everything to be as, as good as you can get it, uh, but don't fret over it. I mean just a little bit of, you know, an eighth of an inch off on one end or the other is not going to make a ginormous difference in the way the hull goes together. Okay, the one thing I've done already was I've, I went to see which side of the plywood I uh, was going to have was the inside and which was the outside. And then on the inside edges, which are the uh, ones, the outsides are in inside now, I think, didn't they? <laughs> oh no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's pull this over to see which ones are the other outside. You try to get your, your, your good faces to the outside. And it looks like I've got the insides together, so. Oh well, it all gets painted. Don't sweat the small stuff. We'll go ahead and do the same thing to the uh, bottom panel here. This one has our baseline we put down in the middle, remember? And so we'll be actually be measuring everything off of it so that you'll measure one way and then the other way on each one of these 12 inch grid lines. Expecting cold weather today. They kept saying on the weather we're going to have this fierce snowstorm, which I believe you, everybody on the East Coast, that's from the south on way up through the Atlantic coastal states, had tremendous heavy rains and snow. 
It rained a little last night here, but not terribly so. Ah, back here. Got my straight edge out, and you can see I've got a couple clamps down to hold it in place. Just to, that way you don't have to uh, worry about all of a sudden getting halfway across. And, It moves on you. I got this last one drawn across here now, so I got all, and I have this. Uh, sometimes it's good to uh, write down which grid line it is. Five, four. We'll transit back here. And the other thing too is the uh, bow has a definite cutoff point, and that's uh, this measurement here. done with that part. Now that I've got the, uh, the bottom out here and I've got some time, I may as well go ahead and start marking this guy off. We'll start with the transom. Since this ruler is long enough, I can center the measurement that I've got for the transom here and there we go for the transom line. Okay, we'll come up with the next station line, which is number one, and I got a different number and it's what uh, there. It's a sixteenth, so I have to take off my socks and in order to uh, measure this out, so I should and I may double the measurements up because then I'll know what the high side is going to be. Okay, so I've got my, my transom arc started. You can see how it, it curves around here. Let me get some more in place here. Yeah, I'll do another one here. The other thing I try to do too is cross off on my station lines I've got here which ones I've marked. Mind the way here. So we got, we got an even one on three. So the same on both sides. Fast approaching the uh, the beam line, which that one is, and the beam is about in here. It's at 40 inches. And this is the 36 inch line, three foot grid, so 44 inches is right up here. And 
I'll circle the lines on both sides too. I didn't draw in one for line seven here for the seven foot line because this next one is so close and so we're going to go About that now until I get ready to uh, cut it out because we still have our uh, brad nails to put in and, uh, and then saw the edges. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the uh, top panels back on and do the same thing. I'm gonna lay out the top panels or the side panels I mean I keep referring to these top panels because they're laying on top. Uh, the side panels. I've got the factory sawn edge that's you know I'm considering the straightest edge straighter than I've cut with, with the uh, draw saw. Those are both lined up on the top. I'm using this thing as a contrast so you can distinguish the difference between the top of this and, and the other panel in behind. So we've got our one foot grid lines here now. And um, we're going to, this is the way it'll look to you. Uh, we're gonna do the, this is the bottom of the boat and this is the rails, the top sides. And we're going to start out with the first measurement. And I, I give these measurements, there, there'll be downs, you know, you'll have marks along these grid lines, and they're all measured off this top edge. So, you know, it's down, you know, we see a measurement here in the top, so it's going to be measured off this top edge. But I've got some other spots here that on the corners that come in from, I call them downs and overs. And then on this one, this very corner of the transom up here is uh, down nine, one and nine sixteenths. So that would be right about in here. And then over an inch and a half, so it would be over this way. So that point right there, can you see it in there? Yeah. That point right there is this one right here, the very end, the transom point. And so the next thing down is down, uh, I've got to get that one, that's the one I screwed up on. That's the one I've got to redo. So we'll go on to the next one. We're going to go down 15 sixteenths. And 15 and 5 eighths. So those are the next ones. So we're going to have our arc right in there. And we'll mark off those guys. Next one's three eighths and fourteen seven eighths. So those would be the next ones. On the bow end here, we've got some points that are, I call them downs and overs again, and they're down from the top edge the factory cut edge up here and the overs are from the last station line to the left so this one will be down two and an eighth and over seven and one eighth that's the wrong scale okay seven and eighth over this direction from the seven number seven station line and then down two and one eighth inches which is right right there. So that's the very bottom of the end here. And then the uh, 
top edge of this thing, of the bow here, is going to be right on the edge. And we're what? 18 and 11 sixteenths. I gave myself a little bit of, of wiggle worm uh, wiggle room there, so I know that point and I know this point here right on the edge. And I can that's my bow cut. And then it'll be somewhere around in here. The curve. The only thing I have left to do is to figure out my uh, downs for the, uh, the transom on that one. And so uh, we're pretty much done here. So if you had your stopwatch going, I've only had very few pauses. I'm just moving the camera from one end of the shop to the other. So you can see that, uh, and this will probably be enough time on this video, we'll call this one quits on the layout, the lofting and the layout. Uh, I mean, it goes pretty easy. I mean, it's really simple. Uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time figuring out how to, to build these, design these boats so it makes it simple for you to, uh, to do. And just lay out your grid, follow the, you know, your one foot grid, station grid lines, and then your measurements off your, the one edge. This one's got a baseline down the middle on the bottom. The side panels have used the, the factory cut top edge for both panels. And uh, so now, um, you know, I mean, that's, that's, that's it. You know, we basically have the outline of the boat. So coming up next, we will put, we, well, well, you'll be here too, so I'm going to say we, we'll put in some brad nails at each one of these turning points, and we'll break out the batten, and then we'll, and some small clamps, and we'll start figuring out the actual lofting of the curves of the hull. And uh, once that gets done, then we can cut them out, and do all the little fiddling and marking and edging and drilling and then we'll start wiring this thing up. I mean this this is a pretty simple hull so it shouldn't take you too much time to, to build this thing. Uh, so we'll uh, come back the next time with uh, we'll do the uh, break out the battens and we'll loft up the curves and uh, fine-tune those and uh, cut them out. So we'll see how much each one goes. I want to get as much time in as possible so that uh, without me talking, the more real line, real time, uh, hands on, eyes on, uh, seeing what I'm doing here. So until the next time, see you. Mm -hmm.